Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Um, today I'm going to do a snow fairy um, kind of look again for the sort of cold wintry weather. So I'll just get started. Um, I've put on my foundation and powder already. So now I'm just going to use Eye Bright by Benefit as a base to my eyes. So I'm just going to pop this all over my eyelid and a bit higher. Then just use my finger just to blend that out a bit. And do it quite roughly because obviously you then blend it out with your finger. It's just to give sort of a nice light base for the eyeshadow. And the next step is to apply Um, a nice light blue and I'm using this one from my MAC palette in the corner here which I'm not sure I think I'm not sure what colour it is um, I'm not sure if it might be called silverware but it's just a nice light sort of silvery blue colour so you can use any colour that's similar I'm just going to pop that all over on top of the eye bright on my lid and just above the crease I just thought I'd do a couple of wintry looks as the weather outside is so horrible <laughs> well it is in England anyway So just blend that all out. So now I've got quite a light sort of colour on your eyes. I'm then going to take the colour Bone, which I used yesterday from Bobbi Brown, a matte highlight colour. I'm just going to highlight under my eyebrow and just blend it into that silvery colour. I haven't penciled in my brows today because I'm keeping them just quite natural and a bit lighter for this look. Okay. Then I'm just going to take a smaller eyeshadow brush. Take this small eyeshadow brush from Gosh, and I'm just going to apply this blue sparkly colour here again from MAC and it's called Queen's Jewel I think it's a really beautiful colour and with this colour I'm just going to apply it in the outer corner of my eye and just a little bit into the crease and just blend it into that silver so I'm mostly just darkening the outer corner um, I'm just sort of really packing that on and then just sort of blending it slightly into the crease. Let's do the same on this eye. And then what I'm going to do is just make sure that's nicely blended across and just take more of the silver colour and just really blend that out. Something that looks like that. Then what I'm going to do is just take a small angled brush and I'm just going to use um, this matte dark blue from my Sleek Chaos palette and I'm just gonna line really close to my lash line with that 
just to add a bit of definition. And now, the really fun bit is to use these um, from MAC, which are reflects, and these are teal reflects. If I just show you, um, I don't know if you can, how well you'll see it, but these are absolutely amazing. They're like really, really sparkly, and I think you can only get them from MAC Pro stores, but um, there are so many sparkly eye dusts out there, so um, if you really can't get hold of this one, then um, you can always use sort of Barry M or another similar gosh do sort of reflex type things. So I'm just going to use a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take some of the reflex in teal onto my brush and I'm just going to literally pat it onto my eyelid. And this is what's going to really give the icy look. <laughs> But those are really sparkly and beautiful. So just pack. Just I'm just applying the reflex onto the lids, so I'm not going, I'm not going above the crease. So hopefully you can kind of see that, okay? And um, then underneath my eye, I've got a little bit of fallout, so um, you can just get rid of that. the fallout away there. Underneath my eye I'm going to keep it quite simple. I'm using this eyeliner by Bourjois which is called um, 37 Gris. I can't actually read that. Number 37 is a sparkly grey and I'm going to just line underneath the lash line. You can take it as thick as you like. And I'm just going to take a small angled brush such as this one and just pop some reflex just on top of that. Okay, um, and I'm just going to now line my waterline with a little bit of Urban Decay 24-7 um, eye pencil in zero just to finish that look off a little bit. Now it's time for mascara. I've been using the mascara I used yesterday, which is the Falsies Volume Express by Maybelline. And I'm um, just going to put lots of mascara on to get really long, sort of spidery lashes. I think blue mascara could also look quite cool for this look. Okay, um, now prior to filming I just put some of the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour lip protectant on. Because my lips are really dry at the moment um, and that doesn't look good for the colour I'm going to use right now. So um, I'm just going to use a bit of this Revlon Matte Lipstick in Pink Pout just to really pale my lips down. And it's a really lovely lipstick but it does show up all the cracks, so... Just pale my lips down. And then on top of that, I'm just going to use this colour by MAC, which is called Sweet Bits. And this is a Dazzle lipstick. I don't know if you can see, but it's got... I'll do a swatch for you. It's some really, really sparkly lipstick. And I never really use this because it's quite strange colour, but I think for this look it will look really good. So I just put sweet bits on. And then finally on the lips, I'm just going to use a little bit of MAC Dazzle Glass, and this is in Baby Sparks. And this is just again really sparkly and it's just to add a nice gloss. So that's what that looks like. I don't really want too much cheek colour so I'm just going to use a little bit of Dandelion by Benefit which I quite like because it's just very very soft um, pink. I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Dandelion 
just sort of to my cheekbone area and to finish the look I'm just going to use some sun baked um, skin loving minerals mineral bronzing powder in pure shimmer from prestige and um, just on the tops of my cheekbones as a highlight because this is quite an iridescent icy kind of sparkly look so I just want to have quite a um, shimmer or shine to my face okay so that's the look finished I'll take some pictures for you at the end and I really hope you like this icy wintry look Alright then, thanks for watching guys, bye!